Hello, I'm Lena Wynn, and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS 2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Amber Lee. Lena, right now we're tracking storms near the Great Lakes. We also have a low pressure system near the Rockies, but if you're staying put here on the West Coast, we do have high pressure that's starting to build into the area. We do have some delays to tell you about, especially on the eastern seaboard. You can see we have delays in New York, and then if you're headed over toward Miami and also near Dallas. Otherwise, back here in Southern California, temperatures slowly starting to warm up closer to where we should be this time of year. By Sunday, another low pressure system drops in, cooling temperatures through Monday just a touch, but we start to rebound right back up again as we head into the middle of next week. Here's a look at the Inland Empire, the high deserts, and the mountains. Well, the rare total solar eclipse on Monday will only last just a few minutes, but some businesses have been uh, preparing it for years, and they're now ready to cash in. Danielle Nottingham reports. The Rainbow Symphony Company in Reseda, California, is sending out its last shipments of eclipse glasses. What has been your most popular design? For online, I think this. Owner Mark Margolis has been making eclipse glasses since 1989, but he's never seen demand like this. Businesses are really, uh, how they say, off the chain. How many glasses have you sold for this event? It's probably in the tens of millions of pieces. Tens of millions? Mm -hmm. Rainbow Symphony isn't the only company cashing in on the eclipse. Websites have popped up selling everything from mugs and pins to jewelry. Hotels and rental cars have been sold out for months in many towns along the path of totality, where travelers can see a rare total solar eclipse. Two, one. One of those cities, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, has adopted the name Eclipseville. In local stores, you'll find T-shirts and even a total eclipse moonshine. We've never had anything in our community's history that has drawn as much enthusiasm. A wedding venue in South Carolina is getting a boost in business by offering a group nuptial. They're going to say their vows all at one time and we hope to finish right at the exact time of the eclipse. RV parks are also reaping the benefits. I've probably had over 200 phone calls of people wanting to come into the RV parks and I've filled up my park. Even the post office is trying to increase sales with an eclipse stamp. Touch the black disc and the heat of your finger reveals the moon. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles. And now here's your CBS On The Go Sports. For so many of us, there's no place like home, and that holds true for NBA champion Kevin Durant, who returned home to his own personal parade on what was dubbed Kevin Durant Day. Durant infamously left the Oklahoma City Thunder in free agency to join the Golden State Warriors last year, which resulted in a championship. While some have criticized Durant for joining the Warriors, his hometown fans are not among them. Durant returned to Seat Pleasant, Maryland to a victory parade in his honor. The town is located near Washington, D.C. A festival was originally planned, but organizers weren't able to secure the proper permits. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include the host of CBS's Face the Nation, John Dickerson. And right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests are Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Ray Romano, and Billy Idol. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.